everyone, AG Dolls Dananda here, and welcome to What My Dolls Are Wearing for Pride 2024. Um, so this is the first time I've done a Pride themed video, and because it is Pride Month, I thought I would go ahead and show you what I've dressed my dolls in. Some of them are representing different Pride flags, some of them are just wearing something colourful, some of them are going full rainbow, a little bit of colour, and some are dressing up to represent their own sexuality. So I'll start with Miss Syra. Syra is wearing a rainbow jumper that I made using some scraps that I got from a show I worked on. An old Pleasant Company skirt, some stockings, and I bought these off the grey market. They are a pair of boy doll shoes. I think they might be bitty baby shoes from a long time ago. I'm not quite sure. And then of course her usual glasses and her hair is down. Next up we have Miss AJ. AJ is wearing a knitted dress that I got recently from a set of markets. It's very very rare that I find doll clothes that fit American Girl dolls at any kind of market so it was a great find. She's paired it with some rainbow socks and some Pleasant Company snow boots. AJ's outfit doesn't scream pride but she is a pretty introverted character so she doesn't want to stand out but she does want to show that she's an ally by wearing her rainbow socks. Piper is here with coconut because she has coconut on her shirt. This is also from the Grey Market, which is just eBay factory selling from American Girl. She's wearing an Our Generation skirt, some white and pink socks, and some blue shoes, and she is representing the trans flag. Piper herself is not trans, but as I'm sure any American Girl collector may know, Coconut, the dog, switched genders halfway through the American Girl like advertising experience, so Coconut is a little trans dog. So we have Coconut representation on our shirt today. Silly, cute, who knows, I love coconut as a dog, it's so cute. This is Esty, Esty is a renamed Claudie, and she is wearing an outfit kind of vaguely bisexual flag inspired, mainly just bright and colourful. Esty does usually wear mostly white, so this does match her aesthetic while also conveying a pride theme. She is wearing a pair of pants made by my wonderfully talented friend Sunflowers AG. It has some beautiful embroidery on the side and lots of bows, very feminine and perfect for Esty. And she's wearing a long sleeved American Girl brand top that I actually made using the uh, create your own shirt kiosk that was in the New York store in 2015. I'm not sure if it still exists. It's kind of like a create your own, design your own shirt and leggings set. She's wearing the shirt that I de designed in 2015. I don't think it aged well. I don't think it's a particularly stylish shirt for a doll, but I think it's perfect for this month because it's got the purple, the pink, the blue. And of course she's wearing a pair of purple sandals to match. This is Kestrel, who is a truly me number 26 with freckles. She is wearing a knitted, I'm gonna call it a bandana, I think it's more of a bonnet, but we'll call it a bandana, um, that's actually from the local op shop to me. She's wearing Julie's calico dress and some like Birkenstock style sandals that I made. It's actually a really easy make. Let me know if you'd like a tutorial for it. I think Castro looks super cute and she's really summery, not perfect for our weather currently here, but I love this dress on her. It's one of my favorite things to put her in and I think it perfectly conveys the pride vibe. Next up, we have my beautiful doll, Miss Billy. She's actually a McKenna Brooks girl of the year 2012, but I've renamed her to Billy. She is wearing a Pleasant Company t-shirt and shorts that I believe are a rollerblading outfit. And the same socks that Miss AJ is wearing, as they are a pair of, a pair of socks for dogs, so they come in four individual socks, so two pairs. And she's wearing some Pleasant Company cleats as well to go with. I think she looks super cute in this outfit. It's definitely lots of fun and bright colors. Here is Miss Phoenix, my truly me number 64, wearing a pastel a rainbow striped dress with some Our Generation shoes. I think she looks super cute in this outfit. I love pastels on my dolls and Phoenix looks super cute. I think especially the pastel yellow looks really lovely on her. I might have to get her some more pastel yellow clothes. This is the beautiful Sonali, not renamed, still just Sonali in my collection. She is wearing a paisley dress that's a Truly Me outfit from a long time ago, as well as some Truly Me sparkly silver heels. Now Sonali is repping some bisexual colours, I see a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, and of course the blue in the dress. 
and the sparkles on it are holographic rainbow, so extra appropriate for Pride. In my collection, Sonali is bisexual, as well as a couple other of my dolls who you see in a bit. I think that this dress looks great on her. It's not her usual style. She usually prefers darker, more whimsigoth style clothing. This uh, doll room is actually kind of based on Sonali's character in my doll universe. I think she looks really cute though. Definitely like the blue against her skin tone. And of course her curls look beautiful in everything I put them in. We just had a blue bisexual inspired outfit and now we have a pink bisexual inspired outfit. This is Mona. She is wearing an American Girl Place exclusive night shirt, which I think we're calling a dress for the sake of this video. Some stripy socks and a pair of blue flats. I think Mona looks really cute in this. It is kind of giving pajamas, but we're going to pretend that it's just normal fashion. Definitely not pajamas. I think she looks really cute though. I do love this kind of hot pink color on her. She's kind of more girly in my collection. She loves quite feminine things. This is Orion, my non-binary character. Orion uses they them pronouns and is wearing an outfit inspired by the non-binary pride flag, which is black, gray, yellow, and purple. I think the purple is kind of covered by the streak in their hair and the color of their shoes. I was kind of running out of purple options. I don't have a lot of purple in my doll wardrobe. I think I need to make some more. And these Julie pants kind of read more blue on camera, but they are quite purple in person. Um, Orion's cat's shirt and baby onesie top are both repurposed from other things. Pants from Julie's collection and shoes from a Just Like You. Uh, it is a yoga outfit. This is Mella, who is a Truly Me doll with a Mary Grace wig. She's also kind of currently for sale. If you DM me on Instagram, I'm happy to do a really, really cheap price on her because she's super cute and I wanted to go to a home who will love her even more than I do here. Now, of course, I still wanted to include her in this uh, Pride Month dressing because she still, you know, lives here. So she is wearing a bralette top, a pleated red skirt, some knee-high black socks, some new Truly Me meat shoes, and a pleasant company vest. This is vaguely very vaguely bisexual flag inspired. It's really just more bright, colorful and fun and kind of more grown up than I usually dress my dolls, especially with the bright bralette top. It does still match Mella's current style. As I said, I'm not sure if she'll be staying in my collection. I think I just need to find a wig that really sits right for her. This is the cutest Marjorie. Marjorie is a Marie Grace with Caroline eyes and a Truly Me 61 wig that has been cut by its previous owner. She is wearing a Pleasant Company outfit that I found on eBay from the Grey Market, which is where, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can find American Girl items. They're usually like factory like defects and they sell them there for far cheaper and because I live in Australia the cheap uh, shipping is usually free which never happens for American Girl items it's great <laughs> especially for me um, but this is a shirt with little green flowers and then obviously some green high-waisted shorts and some sandals now Marjorie is super cute in this outfit once again, not really inspired by a specific pride flag. She's just bright and colorful and fun. And she completes like a set of rainbows. Here we have Raven and Vienna. These two are representing the lesbian flag because they are the lesbians of my dollhouse. Now these two girlies are wearing outfits that are orange and pink and red. Now Raven and Vienna are both wearing items from Sage's collection being the cardigan and Raven's button up shirt. Now, Vienna and Raven are both wearing pants that I've made, and Vienna is wearing a shirt from a Just Like You Meet outfit. They look super cute together. Had to do some complimenting outfits because these two will likely spend the whole of Pride Month being obnoxiously gay. We love them. Brielle is looking summery and beachy. Not really appropriate for the Australian winter. She's wearing a maxi skirt that I made out of an old pair of leggings from like 2012. And she's wearing a Kanani shirt that was given to me by my friend Sunflowers AG. And she's wearing her own meat sandals. Brielle always looks good in summertime outfits. And I think this is a perfect fit for her for Pride Month. Though I do think she should be spending Pride on the other side of the world because her outfit is not suited for the southern hemisphere right now. It's far too cold for a t-shirt and skirt. 
This outfit is a little all over the place, but that kind of matches Robin's style. Robin is a renamed Chrissa Maxwell girl of the year 2009. She is wearing an Our Generation beanie, an Our Generation grey scarf, a black starry Pleasant Company dress, I believe either Pleasant Company or American Girl branded uh, jersey shirt, and some shoes from a brand that Myers used to sell. Now, uh, Miss Robin is representing the asexual flag because Robin in my doll universe is asexual so she doesn't experience sexual relationships or sexual attraction to anyone, doesn't matter their gender. And that is so fun to represent in my doll world. Now Robin, I think this outfit is a little extreme. I would love to give her a pair of tights to go with it and maybe a shorter dress. I think it's a little bit crazy, but I think it does get the colors of the flag across. It was difficult to find some gray to pull it all together. It's time for my favorite doll, Kimberly, number 29, who is the only truly me number you ever need in your life. Get yourself a truly me number 29, everyone. She is wearing a pair of corduroy pants, some our Generation brand shoes, and a swimsuit from the My American Girl era that I've just used as a halter top. I think it looks really, really cute. Now, Kimberly is of course representing just the general pride flag with the rainbow colors in her shirt. I think she's super cute, definitely my favorite doll, definitely for a good reason because she is perfect. And as I said, get yourself a number 29. This is another outfit that's not really representative of a pride flag, but more just the vibes in general. She's wearing a green beanie, a Pebbles and Toad on Etsy brand t-shirt, which says fab across the front, some pants that I made in a recent video, and some doll size Adidas shoes. If you watched my recent video, I did say that these pants were slightly big on the dolls, but Samire being a Pleasant Company doll has a larger waist. It fits her really, really well. These might be her pair of pants from now on. I think she looks great in this outfit and the shirt is so fun. I love putting it on my dolls. Pebbles and Toad is one of my favorite Etsy stores for my dolls. This is Gwen, who is a truly me number 12. I think she could be a Gwen, she could be a number 12. If you watch my recent video, you'll know I have no idea which one she is. <laughs> She's wearing her hair in two braids, Corinne's meat sweater from the grey market on eBay. She's wearing a pleated skirt that I've made, some shoes that I got locally, and a scarf that I knitted when I used to knit. Now I have no idea how to knit anymore. She looks super cute in this outfit. The rainbow is pulling together the pride outfit, whereas the rest of her outfit's just something more of her usual style with the pleated skirt. She's very preppy. I think she looks super cute in this outfit, and this one is appropriate for today's weather. It's a little bit cold, but not too cold that you need a pair of pants. You can get away with just a jumper. We have got to the final two dolls. If you got to this point, comment who your favorite is so far. Now we have my partner and I in doll form. My partner's mini me is wearing a pair of off-brand pants, American Girl brand shoes, and a Buzz and Bee shirt. And my mini me is dressed as a pan flag because I personally identify as pansexual. She's wearing an American Girl brand shirt, a vest made by my wonderful friend Sunflowers AG, and a jumpsuit, play suit, um, that I believe is the Glam Doll brand. She's also wearing the Island World Traveler shoes and her hair in two braids. Now, Pride Month is a really wonderful time to celebrate who you are. I really am grateful for this month to exist and that people are able to celebrate, especially in my part of the world. It's quite safe to celebrate Pride here. Now, as someone who is pan in a straight passing relationship, sometimes Pride feels a little weird to me. I feel like it's not my place, even though I personally don't identify as straight. So if anyone else has experienced similar struggles, please comment in the comments below, chat about it. It's like simultaneously a really exciting month and also I feel really nervous this month doing anything Pride related because I'm in a relationship with a man. If you have any thoughts, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to chat about this. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a really one, one, fun one to put together. As I said, comment who your favorite outfit was. I think mine has been either Orion's outfit, but I also really liked Gwen's outfit. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hopefully I won't change my dolls out because <laughs> I really love their outfits and I don't want to change them for the rest of the month. So don't expect any dressing my dolls video until July at the earliest. All right, thanks so much for watching, bye.